All right, here is something just a little bit different that you don't see every day. This is a Swiss Sturmgewehr 57 or a Sig 510 that one of the gunsmiths here at Sig Neuhausen has customized for his own use. So he has added a collapsing butt stock and a nice red dot scope on a piece of Picatinny rail that he added to the top of the receiver. A uh, better pistol grip there. This is, by the way, the nice grip, which is semi-auto only. If I can handle that, then maybe we'll see about the fun grip, which is select fire. Anyway, on the front end is a quad rail for more stuff, a very heavy barrel, and a pretty chunky muzzle brake as well. So this should be a bit interesting to fire in the indoor range here, but we'll give it a try. The muzzle flash on that is pretty thoroughly blinding, but and the concussion's pretty heavy. I think everyone else in the room here is already tired of me firing it. But the recoil's really nice. Uh, I'll put one or two more through, but more than that, and I'm gonna get lynched by the other uh, occupants of this indoor range. Whew, wow. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> Everyone in the room has left the room because we are going to try this in full auto. And everyone went, you know what? I'm out. That's a, a beast to be around in an indoor range. But I've got muffs and I've got earplugs underneath. So let's see if I can do this without hitting the ceiling of the range. Am I on full? All right. Charged? It's all ready to go. Holy cow! Jeez. I think I can actually feel that in my teeth. <laughs> uh, but again, that muzzle brake, while it is brutal for everything else, it's actually not bad for recoil. This thing is way more controllable than I would have ever anticipated. Uh, you can't see anything when you're firing because literally of the muzzle flash. Uh, I'm sure that comes through on video. But, uh, how many rounds did you put in this mag? All right, all right. I've only got two rounds left, so we'll just fire those. Man, that is really something else. There you go, guys. Gunsmithing project for the crazy people out there. See if you can duplicate this guy. Thanks for watching. Oof!